everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you what I've got for my boys for Christmas so far. I really wanted to get this video up ASAP because I know Christmas is actually coming up pretty quickly now and um, it's always good to be ahead of the game when it comes to ordering online especially. So um, a lot of these toys, some of them are second hand, some of them are from um, Amazon and where I can I've purchased from Conscious Craft and Myriad Toys because I love those toy shops in the UK. Bella Toys, Bella Luna Toys I think is kind of the equivalent in the US. Um, and then I've also got some of our favourite just general toys that we already have but I wanted to share with you anyway because they're so much fun. So without further ado I'm going to jump into some of the stocking stuff that I've got the boys. Um, first up, musical instruments. My kids love musical instruments and where I can I like to include um, another um, little instrument in their stocking or in their Christmas present to add to our collection. This year I've got this really sweet um, little sort of shark or piranha and it's um, a castanet from the brand Plan Toys. This was pretty inexpensive and just really fun with the face and the teeth so I think that will go down in the storm. I also picked up a couple of these really awesome train whistles. These were from Amazon and really inexpensive, but they make such a re really, really good um, choo-choo train noise. And I know these are going to be such a firm favorite with the, both of the boys. So cool, I love these already. I think they're just such a good find. Really nice and chunky and no small parts, so good for all ages as well. I always like to include a little bit of chocolate in our Christmas stockings and this year I picked up um, some organic uh, milk chocolate coins. These always remind me of Christmas as a child myself so I love picking up those. And I also picked up an organic uh, milk chocolate lolly and this is um, a soldier. This is the brand Coco Loco which I love and these were Divine um, which is the, a really nice organic chocolate company. Another thing that we love to um, build on every Christmas is our spinning top collection. Now last year the boys got these two uh, spinning tops from the brand Madder. This one is a lovely chunky spinning top, it's also a rattle so perfect for a young child or a toddler. And this one is just like a roly poly which Toby had last year when he was one. This year um, I've decided to go for another Madder spinning top and this is my first spinning top in the blue stripes. This is a little bit more advanced, it's got a slightly different shape so you can spin it like this but it's also got a top with a string that you can then slot on and use the string and pull the string and that also makes it spin. Really nice big size as you can see, so perfect for little hands. Um, so I think um, that would be great for my four year old and I also just picked up this little small spinning top, also from the brand Madder in the rainbow shades. And there's a whole selection of these Madder spinning tops that are perfect for a variety of abilities and ages. And um, obviously they start with things like the Rayleigh Poly or the Rattle, and then they move on to things like the first spinning top or the slightly smaller ones. Um, such a good toy to collect over the years and incredibly well made real heirloom quality, beautiful wood and very sustainable. Of course it wouldn't be Christmas without some more Holtz Tiger figures in our stockings. I have picked up this gorgeous badger in this lovely grey colour and also a mole because for some reason my boys are both obsessed with moles at the moment so I got this really cool mole with a little um, tail and they will be going into their stockings too. And a new thing to collect this year which actually could have been a main present gift but they're just so sweet, I thought they'd be so charming in a stocking, are the Malig mice. So the Malig mice are a whole collection of these cute little mice. Uh, they also sell um, a doll's house furniture for them, but you can see there you open up the matchbox and there's a little mouse and he's got a blanket and a pillow and everything. And then he has um, clothes that you can take off. This is the little brother, I think. He's got like a little... Um, tail he's just so sweet and he goes back in his box and i also picked up the hiking mouse i just couldn't resist him he doesn't come in a matchbox but he's got like a little sleeping bag which comes out and he actually fits into i'm actually i'll just show you because it's so cute you, you can also buy him like a tent and a boat i just think this is the actually the cutest thing i've seen in my life and then the hat comes on and off 
and yeah he's just so beautiful so I think the boys will really enjoy the Malik mice. I almost got them for them last year, but I felt the boys were just a bit too young. But Toby is so into small little toys at the moment and soft toys that I know he will be just obsessed with these in particular. So um, I've got one for each of the boys just to see how they get on with them. But I have a feeling it'll be Toby that really loves the Malik mice. I also picked up this gorgeous boat. I think I bought this from Myriad Toys, but the brand is Ogas, O-G-A-S. It's made in Germany. It's completely um, wooden and cloth and just made of twine. So all natural materials. And it's got a little, it's called a hull, so it actually will float in the water. Um, I don't know who's gonna get this in their stocking yet, but hopefully they'll share, or well, that might be a bit optimistic. But I just thought this would be great fun. They can use it in the bath or in our stream or pond here on the farm. So um, just a beautiful toy and not that expensive. I think this was about £11, so not too bad. Again, you could give that as a main gift either. Um, I just thought I'd give that in their stocking this year. I also have a couple of items from the brand Sarah Silks. We got a mini play silk in the colour Earth, which is this beautiful grey blue colour of sort of tie dye effect, ombre effect. And we also got this gorgeous little wand. It's called a streamer. And I, I won't undo this, so I'll wait for the boys to do it themselves. But it's got a coloured uh, rainbow ribbon that sort of trails off like this. And you can play with it like that. So I thought that was super cute. And um, I always love the brand Sarah Silks. They always do amazing toys and uh, silk products. Um, also picked up a packet of wiki sticks. These are like waxed sticks. A bit like... Um, what are they called? Pipe cleaners, but they're waxy, so you can bend them into loads of different um, shapes. Really fun craft product. And then I also picked up a packet of these Grimm's alphabet cards. I had my eye on these for the boys for ages, um, but just never the right time has arrived until now. They come with all these beautiful um, illustrated alphabet cards that are just perfect for learning the alphabet and just playing with because I just think even the illustrations alone on them are just so beautiful. And then I also picked up these Ebo Crate A Story cards. I know Rupert will love these. They are all got different illustrations on them um, and the idea is that you can lay them out and build a story with them. Um, there's a few different, um, not varieties what's the word, there's a few different types of these that you can get. This one is Mystery in the Forest, but there are other ones as well that you can look into and pick one that will suit your child. But I thought those would make such a good educational gift that's also really fun and engaging and just up Rupert Street completely. I picked up an annual, this is for Rupert and it's the Rupert Annual. I love the Rupert Annual, it's so old fashioned and sweet and nostalgic for me. Um, so I had to include that as well. And then I also picked up this Tinty Treasure Chest. This is full of bath time products. Um, like bath confetti, crackle and pop powder, really good fun, the boys love this brand. You can get it on, I think, a Myriad Toys, and I think I picked this up on Amazon, the little treasure chest, but such a fun gift. I'll probably put this under the tree, actually, for them to share. Okay, so moving on to some books I've got the boys as well. Um, I've got an incredibly <laughs> sore throat, by the way, if you're wondering why. It looks like I'm chewing something. I've got a strepsil in my mouth. I'm just hanging on in there, the guys. I'm just got in so much pain. I'm so determined to film this for you because I know we're getting so into November now and we need to get all our Christmas presents sorted. So I'm gonna power on through, but apologies if I'm chewing something or look like I'm struggling a bit. It's just a cracking um, sore throat tonsillitis I've had for ages now. So, this year I decided to go for treasuries as the boys main presents mainly because I thought it would be such a good value um, for money and so much joy we get so much joy from books as a family so I invested in some really fun treasuries I'm super excited about these first one is a mammoth book this is out of print but you can buy it really easily it's the HarperCollins Treasury of Picture Book Classics a child's <coughs> first collection this one contains 12 pitch books, I believe, um, and everything from Eric Carl's From Head to Toe, Caps for Sale, um, Pizza Pizza, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, Harold on the Pebble Crown, Goodnight Moon. So loads of real classics. What I love about this edition is that it's all full-sized. So um, 
it's, it pretty much is laid out the same way as the book itself. So that uh, kind of gives you an idea what it looks like. So you're getting a really good quality um, version of the original. Um, so the full size image um, as it is when it's printed. Um, and yeah, I think this is so beautiful. It's a really heavy book as you can see. I'm struggling to hold it up there. Um, just because it does give every single um, page in those 12 editions um, a full page. So you're getting a really good value for money on that treasury. This treasury is more for Rupert, or the other one I think will really uh, be perfect for Toby. This one's for a little bit older children and it's the 20th century children's book treasury. Again, this could be out of print, but very easy to get. This one has got loads of books in it. I actually how many, but I have a feeling around 30 maybe. Um, and what I love about it is in the contents, it has like a color code um, for different ages, which is fantastic. And this one has got just all sorts of amazing books in it. Um, uh, some of the ones, for example, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, Madeline, and um, The Snowy Day, Good Night Moon, again, is in this one. A Million Fish, more or less, Make Way for Ducklings, Fright Train, Curious George, Good Night, Good, Good Night Gorilla, Where the Wild Things Are. Just a huge amount, but there's a little bit of difference with this in the fact the layout is different. So in order to fit so many books in, they have done like multiple pages per page, which I don't have a problem with, and um, doesn't really affect the reading of the book massively. give you a, a good example there. So a slightly different layout in the sense that this one has those multiple pages per page, but um, still I think such good value for money and a really exciting book because you get such a variety of classic children's books in this. Most of these I have not read, a lot of them are quite American, which I love and really excited about because I haven't read a lot of them myself. Um, so yeah, if any of these turn out to be our favourites, we'll definitely buy the original book but for now, I think this is an incredible way of experiencing so much more literature. Um, while the HarperCollins Treasury, because it gives every single page its own page, um, there's really no need to buy another copy because this is done so perfectly anyway. Um, while this one's a slightly different layout, but I don't think it affects the quality at all. And I think it's been done with such love and um, consideration that it's worked so well. Another um, treasury is this Kim Lewis book called Days on the Farm. It contains five stories, perfect for a young toddler. So this I think will be just so good for Toby. So just to give you a little look inside, just a story, lots of stories of animals on the farms and with their owners and all the activities that they do. Lots of lovely pictures of children playing. And yeah, so gorgeous. I know Toby is going to love this. Very simple language, but um, an amazing one for a young toddler. And probably that will become a fun favourite, I'm sure. Um, one for Rupert is the Katie Morag collection by Mary Hedewick. This I got second hand. All these have been second hand. This one is also second hand. Um, and it's an old edition. Uh, there is a newer one with a newer cover. But the, the condition of this book is so perfect. I mean, there's no need to buy a new one. Um, and it's amazing. Katie Morag is a Scottish story. She's a little girl based in Scotland and she gets up to all these adventures. Um, lots of boats, sea scenes, amazing illustrations, a really engaging storylines. So there's also a programme on BBC CBBS um, about Katie Morag, which is actually quite good too, but... I think this is so beautiful. I'm really, really excited to give this to Rupert because I know he's going to love it. Finally, another book. This is not a treasury, but it's um, The Little Red Train by Benedict Blathwaite's Busy Day. And we could, I could not resist this for Toby. I love Benedict Blathwaite's books anyway. The illustrations are so fantastic for children. Always tons of detail. And this one's all about a train. You get to see inside how it works, the station where it goes, really, really beautifully done. Um, we've been reading, um, I can't quite remember the title of it, but it's called About Little Train and he's on the train track. I'm gonna link it below because it's also fantastic. Um, but this is a little bit more detail, so it would work well 
for a young child, much older than Toby, I think, but he will still get so much love and interest out of this, and I think Rupert will also enjoy it. There's a whole collection of these stories, you can buy like a bundle of them as well, but I thought we would just get this one secondhand one. That's all I've purchased for the boys for Christmas. I also have some amazing wooden toys by the brand Jake's London, but I'm actually going to show those in a separate video because they were kindly gifted to me. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but to finish off the video, I'm just going to show you some of our favourite toys which um, might work for your ch children too. So Dinkum dolls are beautiful. Um, these are from the brand Odia Ella. We got this for Toby for his birthday and it's been much loved. Um, what I love about these toys is you can buy loads of different outfits for them. They're pretty gender neutral um, and they're just super cute. So I highly recommend these for dolls, Dinkum dolls. A wooden sword. This is probably the most used toy in our house. The boys love it. Um, I really must get another one because we only have one at the moment, but they love the swim sword. It's so simple, um, really light. Um, I can't remember the brand, but I'll link it below when I find out. Uh, also, uh, we got a shield, but the shield isn't used as much as the sword. Sword is definitely um, a really, very popular toy, and I highly recommend that. Um, and yes, you can buy them wooden and they still are very light and they're not too um, hard if you were to be uh, poked by one. So yeah, highly recommend a wooden sword no matter what gender child you have. Um, I also love these educational boards. These are by Little Coach House. Um, these make a really fun educational gift. They're not that expensive really for what you get and they're a great educational um, toy. We got those last year for Christmas. And we also got these fantastic um <laughs> fantastic name boards as well which are great and um, for your kids when they're learning to write their name or recognize their name so they're both by the coach house of course i love um these wooden toys by wooden story uh, they have some incredible toys that i'll link below well worth checking out um again heirloom quality fantastic all, all handmade in a super small business um and they've got lots of toys that would work for like newborns all the way up to older children and finally a train track such an essential <laughs> toy for a kid um this one here is the big jig set um although if i could go back and get a different brand i think i would have just gone for brio to be honest I'm pretty sure toby's getting some brio uh for christmas from his grandparents um but this is the one we got last year which has been well loved and it's a good set i just think the quality isn't as good as brio what I love though about these wooden train sets is that you can add on to them. So you can buy that one and add on Brio and they all kind of work together, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, train track is something that most kids will enjoy and you can add on to it. You can buy trains for birthdays and things like that. Add on um, more of the tracks or buy bits and pieces to make it really exciting and engaging play for them. So yeah, and then last, lastly, I almost forgot this, and um, subscription boxes make such good gifts for kids at Christmas. We love our Mud and Bloom, um, Little Hands Learning as well. I've got a whole video on <coughs> our favorite subscription boxes and magazines, I'll link it below. All those would make fantastic gifts. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I've got. As you can see, it's really not that much. And I'm really quite proud to say that the bulk of our presents under the tree are secondhand books. Why not? The kids do not really mind like i asked rupert what he wanted for christmas and he said books and toby's really too young to care he'll just be so delighted with his manic mice and stocking presents and that book on trains so um not too much we've definitely got enough toys really at home and i always take into account that um parents will definitely my parents will definitely buy quite a lot of toys for the boys and grandparents and things so um yeah i always keep it really minimal at christmas because um i don't want them to be overwhelmed by presents Although I know they will be anyway. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think what my parents are getting the boys. Um, there is a beautiful pu um, little puzzle, like cube puzzle. Um, the brand, I think it's something like Atelier something, but I'll link them below as well because they're, they're a European brand. But they're absolutely incredible. And they also do like wooden storybooks that will make a great gift for a younger baby. So I'm gonna link those below because they're so gorgeous. Um, on our wish list as well has been the Waldorf family who make these amazing seasonal plaques. Um, they also do a perpetual calendar, so that's been on our wish list, um, which if we don't get for Christmas, I'll probably get the boys um, at some point for their birthdays. And then also a weather um, 
like a weather watch station is also high up on our wish list and there's a couple of really good brands um there is the brand moon picnic they do a lovely one um and there was another one that i can't remember <laughs> so i'm gonna link that below sorry my brain is really gone um but i'm gonna wrap up the video here and leave it uh for that i'm sorry this wasn't the best film video but um as i might have mentioned earlier i am recovering from some cracking tonsillitis so um, I've had to kind of reserve my speaking a little bit and kind of just fly through this, um, which is a bit annoying because I wanted to give this lots of time, but hopefully you still got some good ideas from this. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, comment below, and be sure to check out my Patreon page and come support the channel there. There's lots of extra videos, audios, and um, fun chat there to be had. So do check that out, support the channel, and get some great bonus content too. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye.